So I just led a workshop on you know mindfulness and leadership, and I think again I started off saying actually the first and best practice you could say about mindfulness and leadership actually comes from India. Um, I spoke about mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, which is an evidence-based program originally developed for depression, but now found to be helpful for people with a great many problems and concerns. I came to the EY Mindfulness Summit to connect with other leaders in the mindfulness community to learn more about bringing mindfulness to corporations and organizations around the world. It is my first time here in India and I'm enjoying very much this event here. It's uh, been amazing. It's an, been an amazing experience for me. I'm learning a lot from everyone, from all the audience. It's, it's spectacular. I was, I'm really, really impressed. I think this is a very important summit for our day and age where we need to bring back the focus on being happy, mental well-being, quality of life. Here on the behest of Manish and Shalini, they're good friends and they wanted me over. And I came um, like in life with zero expectations, but it's amazing how one thing leads to another and uh, I think it's an amazing setup of like-minded people in a like-minded quest for mindfulness. Shalini and Manish invited me to come and speak here and uh, it's been really wonderful to talk here at, at the summit. I think this is uh, great work that they are doing because uh, mindfulness is something that we all have to achieve and move towards. I came to this conference and summit trying to understand what mindfulness is all about. It's an amazing place because it has a composition of people from all walks of life who are into mindfulness. So we have people who are practitioners, we have people who are the experts. I saw a, a number of monks who were walking by, Buddhist monks, and I, I also was very curious because you have a lot of people who have come in from overseas because they believe that they can learn at the summit and also contribute to it. I was invited uh, to the Mindfulness Summit to be part of a panel which represents the view of how mindfulness is perceived within corporates and how is it relevant for creativity and innovation. Something which is obviously very close to the work that we do and I was very grateful for Manish to invite us to uh, partner with him. I'm very happy to be part of this event, Mindfulness India Summit 2019, and uh, it has been a great pleasure for me to be part of this event because we, it's a great opportunity to meet scholars, uh, researchers and speakers about mindfulness. And it's very special because this is held on the birthplace of mindfulness. And through this event, um, people from different walks of life um, have benefited from the research evidence and how various uh, ways mindfulness can be brought into organizations and personal lives. Shalini invited me to present at this year's mindfulness uh, the conference. I want to say that this has been beautifully organized, very well put together and I love the ambience, I love the presentations. 